Well, good morning, friends. It's uh, it's Walter and I in the garage this morning, and and he says hi. I got an email last week from a pastor who asked me if I'd ever considered doing an observation overview of a book of the Bible. So I sent out a request to over 400 viewers and asked them what they thought and if there was a book that they might want to go through. And I had about 250 responses and it seemed like the book of James was the most requested book. So during the next few words, we're going to go through the book of James. Now we're not going word for word, but just a few verses out of each out of each chapter, unless the Holy Spirit throws in an interlude. I titled today's word, Who Do You Think You're Talking To? And it came from John 1, verse 2. And it says, Brethren, count it all joy when you fall into different trials and temptation. My observation was the first thing that hit me was really count it joy when I fall into these things. But I noticed two things. First of all, he starts off brethren. He's talking to believers. He's not talking to just the, the general populace. The second thing that I noticed was the word fall. Count it all joy when you fall. It doesn't say when we premeditatedly jump into these trials and tribulations. So as we go through the book of James, I submit it's extremely important that we consider looking at each of these words comparing Scripture with Scripture, not just the opinions of other sermons we've heard or maybe other books we've read, but let the Holy Spirit help you with your own observation. My response is this. There is much of the Word that may be a situation where there are assumed interpretations. And I know that we all may have you know, different observations, but let your observation be that which is revealed to you, you know, through the Holy Spirit. The other thing as we enter into James 2, I submit that that is the one chapter that has caused the most dissension among spiritual leaders. And I hope that you'll stay and listen, you know, to that because there's some amazing things in there that may be a little different. And I'm just going to throw some data on the table. I'm not saying you have to take it, but just sort of take that and let it marinate and see what observation the Holy Spirit may give you. And if you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to contact me at don at donsmith.com. Don at donsmith.com. And my dialogue is this, Lord and my best friend, thank you so much that I can trust your word from cover to cover. And in that word, you say what you mean. And it's in your name I pray, and we'll talk soon and often, and I'll be listening until we talk face to face. My takeaway is this. Most scripture is really not subject to interpretation. It's subject to belief. And what our friend says, he means. So you all have a blessed day, and Walter and I will talk to you soon.